Well, welcome back to the K6 project. It is uh, May 2021. It's been almost half a year since I last did a video. Um, quite a lot has changed. Uh, we're out of COVID, which is uh, a miracle, <coughs> says he. Um, had my second jab a couple of days ago or so. Uh, felt really rough. Uh, just afterwards feel a lot better today so I've decided to uh, come out and do some telephone boxes so I'm in Gloucestershire um, working around the Fossway um, I'm not able to uh, go anywhere at the moment there's a Travis Perkins lorry uh, I'm sure other companies are available uh, blocking the road while he unloads eh, no rush you know um, I'm sort of on schedule for today and you know a sort of 10 minutes sit around um, relaxing is quite nice. So uh, a K6 project where are we? Well we're at 1400 boxes now and I think the last video I did I was just over the thousand or I was just going for the thousand. So uh, a lot of mileage has been covered and uh, I'm not sure if you noticed but the background is uh, a little bit different. I, I've bought myself a new car. Um, the Cube, unfortunately, um, well, not unfortunately at all, um, it was doing really well, um, bit crashy, bit bashy, uh, I'm in a Skoda Yeti now, which uh, is far, far better on the country roads, um, it's manual, which has been a, a bit of a culture shock for me, having spent three years in an automatic, so, uh, Oh, you know, I'm not bouncing gears or anything, but it's the uh, having to remember to change gear. You know, when you come up to a junction, you're like, oh, 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 gears, gears, gears. Um, that aside, so um, I've been working really hard on Shropshire um, to try and get it finished off. Although I just said to you, I'm in Gloucestershire today, so. Uh, about once every other trip or so I, I've been sort of like get out of Shropshire and go somewhere different because there's only so many times you can drive up the M54 before you want to slit your wrists so uh, I'm on the Foss Way today in the Cotswolds which is obviously uh, a beautiful part of the country um, I'm working north of Sirencester um, up towards Stow on the Wold I'm just picking off uh, about 20 boxes of the ones that I hadn't done previously. Oh, looks like the uh, lorry guy is about to go, so um, I will catch you in a bit. So that was Preston, we've just been past and uh, stopped and took some photos up. And I'm just heading for my next location and I thought I'd swing the camera around so you can see the sort of view that I have. After 300 yards, turn left, then turn left. Oh, uh, right. Turn left. Now it makes then sense. Then go round the roundabout. And come back on myself. After 100 do 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 do. yards, go round the roundabout, third exit, then turn left. I think what I'll do is I'll let the cyclist cycle along and I will slow myself up. You have reached your destination. I shall park up just here. <coughs> Yeah, well, uh, yeah, so what have I been up to? So, um, all of the lockdown over October, November, December, January, February and March, so the full six months has been spent productively, in my mind productively to some people, idiotic. Um, 
I spent a lot of time, hang on, let's get you straight, there we go. Um, I spent a lot of time on the computer trying to get all the fine details for all of the um, telephone boxes that I'd been given clues on where they might exist. Oh, I've just met the same um, lorry. Oh, there, there's a miracle of miracles. So he's, he's trying to turn around and I'm trying to go straight on. Okay, yeah, so, um, yeah, trying to get the fine details for the telephone boxes. Um, so, yeah, I've had a list, um, and I have to thank uh, Andy quite a lot for uh, a big volume of that data, um, as well as all the other different websites out there, plus endlessly looking at Ordnance Survey maps and Google Street View, um, at the end of the road, turn Ooh. right, then turn left. Okay, um, yeah, and a lot of that data is, uh, was given to me in the form of, in Gloucestershire, there is a box in a village called Preston. That's turn it. Turn right, then turn left. So, first of all, you know, you'd think, oh, well, that's easy enough, just have a quick look at a map. Well, you know, they don't always present themselves Turn left. as um, easy as one would think um, so you have to do a little bit of searching around and there's a few decent websites out there that actually give you online ordnance survey maps um, plus obviously I have my own ordnance survey maps but these my ones are older ones so they're more likely to mark the location of telephone boxes whereas you know if it's been removed um, or, or was, was, was never uh, marked on a modern map, it might be on the old map. So between all of that, I've been um, pulling together all of the sort of coordinates and postcodes and descriptions and street names and loads of other bits of uh, data that I need, you know, things like, you know, to plumb into my sat nav, for example. And uh, I think last night I added it all up and there are 9,995 boxes, um, of which I've done about 1,400 now. So, I mean, you know, 16, 17% of the total, you know, After it's not a lot, but it is a lot. Yards, turn left. So, yeah, turn so left. all of that information has gone onto my website. Um, if you have a look, if you were looking on my website at, um, let's just wait for this junction and uh, think King, before I speak. I thought I would quickly interject in this video and actually show you some screen grabs of the website itself as opposed to me rambling in the car trying to remember desperately exactly what it is I've done. So the K6 project website it is as follows. So you'll see the boxes individually that I visited uh, listed. There's a search box here that will enable you to search for a village name. If you go on down here, for example, as I said, I've just been in Gloucestershire. Uh, so this will show you all the boxes that are in Gloucestershire and it will go on for several pages. You can uh, search boxes by color, for example, or uh, let's have a look, um, art boxes. So these are boxes that I've found that contain art. Um, sometimes it's a bit sort of um, art is in an interpretation. I'm not sure that just having a rabbit, I think it's a rabbit, I'm not sure, sat on a seat with a bottle of wine and some flowers dictates it being an art box but man, that's, that's my interpretation anyway um, maps so uh, as i'd said in the video uh, there is a button here where are all the boxes so i put this together because what i found on the internet is that there didn't seem to be a centralized location of where red telephone boxes are the had any real depth of quality to it and I'm not saying this is perfect and I'm not saying it's complete it's always work in progress 
but um, it's been useful to try and document everything I can. Uh, so as I've said, it's broken down by county. It's it's all there's so much data, I can't put it into a single page. It just it just wouldn't work. So for example, Rutland. So when you click on that, it will take you to a page that will show you the actual county itself and will show you the boxes that I've visited. So if it's a red icon like this, it's actually a box I visited and there is some information about it there. You could take the name there, plonk it into my search and then it will bring you to the actual box itself. Let's quickly jump back to the maps. Let's choose a different map this time. Um, so this is Dorset. So I've found 292 boxes there. I, I say I have found. What I'm saying is I have documented it. There's a lot of work from other people as I've uh, said earlier. I mean, the, it's a group collaboration, although it's me that's centralizing the data, I guess the best way to describe it. So right, so all these little icons are blue. So Charles Bourne here, these little blue icons are sites for me to go and visit. These um, like pins, drawing pins, are where I had information that suggested there was a red box there but some further investigation has resulted in it being uh, found to be removed. And that may well be there's been an update in Street View, somebody else has gone and visited the box or tried to visit the box and it's gone. Or, or maybe it's more historic in that sense that somebody has said, yeah, I visited that box four years ago and it's been removed since. So I've just sort of kept that bit of data. I'm not trying to create an entire... Uh, archive of all the removed boxes. Uh, that, that, that's not the purpose of what the K6 project is about. Um, this is really just sort of highlighting the odd lost opportunity for me and the box has been removed in the last few years. Uh, what else can I tell you about this? So um, Worcester is a good one to look at. Uh, it shows um, that not all boxes are red. So I've got a, a few examples here where uh, Sapi Common was actually a green telephone box and Broadheath was a blue telephone box and these are all K6s and if we zoom in a little bit here so we're looking here and I've got a K8 box that was found in Worcester and you know I've I've got uh, uh, some K2 icons as well. So yes, even though it's called the K6 project, I am taking the opportunity to pick up the other telephone booths while I'm at. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. So uh, as I say, I've spent an awful lot of time in front of the computer, um, an awful lot of time talking with uh, other individuals who are interested in the same sort of uh, project, um, exchanging data with them, um, sometimes disagreeing about little bits and bobs. You know, I disagree with a postcode that someone sent me. Um, Data is very grey. Um, any, anybody who, who works with data professionally will know that you know you get a uh, um, you get a series of values and you look at them and it's very easy to interpret them in different ways. And postcodes are an absolute bleeding nightmare as far as I'm concerned. Um, anyway, so yeah, so I'm up to 9,995. Uh, we've still got um, a big chunk of London to work on and in terms of Ordnance Survey maps I've done all of Wales, all of Scotland, After most of Cornwall, 400 yards, turn left. most of East Anglia um, and the Lake District so I'm, I'm presently trying to I know cut the corners off I guess is the best way to describe it and work my way into the middle of the country and just because I've looked at an ordnance survey map doesn't Turn mean left. to say that um, I've got it a hundred percent correct oh right okay this is brilliant 
so it's saying the road is closed this way as well well we shall see so this is what I mean about these diversion signs so there's the village of Preston one road in one road out and they have put road closed on both ends of the village so it, where exactly is the road closed and will I be able to get to the telephone box well we'll find out won't we so 600 yards supposedly <coughs> Anyway, that, that's me rattling on about what I've been doing over the lockdown period. Um, too much Netflix, too much YouTube, too much time sat After in front of a computer. Yards, you have reached your destination. And um, getting out at the, like I am today it is an absolute godsend. You know, um, I've needed it.